has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Orders of QAnon were out in full force at present. In the last few months, a bizarre conspiracy theory has taken root firmly on the fringes of the American right. Where, Where we, we go, go one, we go home. Home. Where we go one, we go home. home. These people are taking an oath to QAnon, a mishmash of conspiracy theories which holds Donald Trump as the savior of the world. And they hold some disturbing views. The pandemic wasn't real and the race war isn't real. It's creeping into the mainstream of political conversations. Just this past weekend, you know, Trump retweeted QAnon dozens of times. And it's tearing families apart. The person I knew as my mother is probably not coming back. Newsnight has seen data that shows a huge spike in interest in this conspiracy theory during the pandemic. But what is QAnon? Followers believe that a cabal of paedophiles runs the United States. They control the media, Hollywood, and politicians. And the only person that can stop them is Donald Trump. Hi. Hey Steph, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing excellently. Travis View has been researching this phenomenon since its early days. The most far out of these beliefs say that celebrities and political elites actually farm children in underground caves so that they can drink blood, which supposedly staves off aging. QAnon has become a sort of cult of President Trump. And in the months since the pandemic, it's seen a surge in its appeal. The only reason I have this red hat on right now, which I still feel like an idiot sometimes wearing it, it's because I believe that this is a real thing. Fake news, fake press, Nick Natoli is one of them. He discovered QAnon about a year and a half ago, but he started sharing his views as the pandemic hit the US. He can spend up to 16 hours a day online researching conspiracies. JFK was definitely murdered by CIA. You're taking it from someone who's got JFK on their arm. 9-11 was an inside job. Uh, people in our government who are working towards a deep state, who are trying to keep us controlled. Children are being har harvested, children are being farmed yeah. for adrenochrome yeah. by celebrities and politicians. Do you subscribe to that? Not outlandish at all. Reptilian aliens, the um, Epstein connection, MKUltra is a huge one. This is conspiracy yeah. overload for me. I'm not sure I'm I ready know. for it. Is there a conspiracy theory that you don't believe in? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. But what QAnon is, is just an amalgamation of all of the greatest conspiracy theories thrown into one big um, belief. I've only been actively posting, I'd say, for the past couple of months. But the response that I've gotten is insane. I mean, people are online looking for this stuff right now. Exclusive research seen by the BBC looked at the use of hashtags specific to QAnon. Here's how many posts there were over the two years before the pandemic. And then in March, this happened. On Facebook, in just four months, membership of the biggest public QAnon groups rose by 700%. Most followers seem to be in the US, but there's been a rise in posts from the UK, Germany and Brazil. People were looking for that for an answer as to why everything was happening. People were also locked down in their homes. They were, you know, stuck to their computers, stuck to their phones all day. So they had more exposure to this kind of thing online. You're an organization that covers extremism. So why are you studying QAnon? QAnon was, was labeled a domestic terror threat by the FBI last year. Um, it was born on platforms that are really associated with white supremacist movements, with far right extremism. And although you can't really label Q followers as that, the conspiracy is tangential to the, that side of extremism. Another site that's seen a huge surge in popularity recently is this page on the message board Reddit. People are coming here to post about family members that they feel have been sucked into the QAnon conspiracy. A lot of these relatives are older, parents or even grandparents. We've spoken to a few of those who've been posting, but we're going to hide their identities because some of their relatives could be quite vulnerable. She believes that Bill Gates created the COVID pandemic. That COVID-19 is bio-warfare that only affects pedophiles. And also created the upcoming vaccine. Bleach is a cure-all. Which is going to contain microchips to track everybody. Wacky things such as Michelle Obama is really a man. And people like Ellen and J-Lo are all Satanists. And the pedophile rings. Interdimensional demonic pedophiles. And I said to him, you realize that they believe Democrat politicians and celebrities are literally eating babies. And then he messaged back, 
yeah, I believe that. A lot of this is a fine line between, you know, heartbreaking and hilarious. QAnon has an evangelical aspect, where followers encourage each other to convert friends and family. They call it red pilling, a reference from the Matrix films. Update from the trenches. Keep red pilling. Keep going. Because it worked. It's working. It's beautiful. Some relatives find it especially hard to deal with a QAnon belief that the pandemic is a hoax. My father is a cancer survivor and he's immunocompromised. This is putting his life at risk if he starts to believe these things too. She's 81 and she's, she's not wearing a mask. She's not social distancing in any way. She implied that my girlfriend's mother who had who had COVID-19 was a predator. That's when um, I kind of snapped a little bit. What do you think of the pandemic? I think it's a hoax. I think that the, the rumor on the street is that President Trump is trying to get all these people to go to jail for pedophilia, child sacrifice, and that the deep state has control of the media. Well, what if it is real and uh, you're not taking it seriously enough? Do you worry about that? You know, I don't want anyone to get sick because they went outside without a mask because of me. So I always want to stay researched. Social media companies, especially Facebook and YouTube, have been criticized for what's known as the rabbit hole effect. That's when their algorithms lead you to content that just gets more and more extreme. They say that they're changing, but I did a quick search for QAnon on my Facebook account, and the following day, there was a list of QAnon pages in my suggestions. On Tuesday, Twitter announced that it had started policing QAnon content and that it had deleted up to 7,000 accounts. This surge of interest in QAnon comes as the US gears up for elections in November. But it's hard to tell what real life impact all these hashtags and tweets will have. Looking closely at some of those who follow QAnon now, many were right leaning before, but a significant number of those that we've observed had no interest in politics or even leaned a little to the left. They are activating like-minded people who otherwise may be sitting on the sidelines. Um, and I think that's the part of this that's, that's actually where it starts to translate into meaningful votes. Angelo Carasoni is the CEO of the left-leaning and anti-Trump think tank, Media Matters for America. Trump retweeted QAnon dozens of times, uh, so you know prominent QAnon accounts, and that's that that has only been increasing in recent weeks. And there's a strategy there, right? Because it works up his base, um, it gets people energized. It's indisputable that he's aware and that he's intentionally using it to his advantage. According to Media Matters, at least 14 QAnon believers could make it to the ballot in November. One of them could be elected to Congress. Marjorie Greene is in a runoff in Georgia in a safe Republican seat. She's shown her support for QAnon on social media in the past. We contacted her campaign to find out if she still supports the movement, but she didn't respond. What is the greater damage that you worry it could do? The thing that really scares me the most about QAnon is that it has all the right ingredients for genuine um, and sincere and intense violence. For its followers, QAnon can be all-consuming. It's clearly more than a hobby to you. What, what is it to you? It's life. We're here to take the country back. We're not, we're not playing around. If Joe Biden wins, I'm scared for America because I believe that QAnon will have something to say about it. And we are large, we are strong, and where we go one, we go all. Though still on the fringes, QAnon is growing. And as it does, many more families will be left wondering what's happened to the people they love. She's going deeper and deeper in, like, what is that going to look like even six months from now? Yeah, I have to accept that the person I knew as my mother is probably not coming back. 